guys, happy vlog week 34. Mm. Please excuse the spot stickers on my nose and my eyebrow. I've got spots all over my face. Why does God hate me? So I'm basically slowly collecting stuff for our future home. Even though I'm nowhere near to having a house yet, I feel it'll be so cute the first day that we move in to bring our box over and we're gonna be like, oh, look at all our stuff we're unboxing to finally put inside the house. We kindly got gifted this trunk from Ula Henriksen. I'm gonna be slowly trying to collect things for the house just because I know when we eventually move in, we're gonna have to think about all the big things like sofas and beds and we probably won't think of all these niggly things. Okay, please excuse all the mess behind me i am so ready to get out of this house like i feel like every time i look around i'm like so conscious of what i'm vlogging and i just can't wait until we eventually leave the house anyways little grangs here i didn't expect to be on a vlog today so looking a little, little crusty <laughs> you always look crusty thanks <laughs> First going inside the box, we have these really, really cute kind of martini glasses. We're planning to have like a bar in yeah. our future house, even though I don't drink alcohol, but it'd be really cute to entertain guests. This is like us manifesting our house into existence, babe. Next up is a Nars candles. We go to our friend Danny's house all the time and he also has like these really bougie candles and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to have that in my own house one day. Next up, this was actually originally in the box. So this is a Ula Henriksen cocktail maker. All the fancy bits and bobs. We've got some alcohol in here. This is going to be our first little alcohol for the bar. It's got like a cocktail shaker and a whisk and all that fancy stuff. We probably will never know how to use it, but it's going in the trunk. Okay, so next up, I am so excited about this vase. It is such a cool vase. I've always wanted a house with like cool kind of like unique stuff around the house. So look at this. If this isn't a twee vase, I don't know what it is guys. Itty bitty waist, fat ass, fat puss. He's definitely got a BBL belly button, you know what I'm saying? A Jody Joe, you know? Before I've always had these really, really bougie things that were sent to me in PR packages. And I just used to give them away to my sister because I was like, we live in a shithole. There's no point even keeping all this stuff. But now I see a way out. I see a future and I just can't wait to have this displayed. I think this would be nice in like the hallway when you enter the house, you know? <laughs> Big fat ass in the way, you know? Big booty. <laughs> I have always wanted my ensuite to be really white, crisp because my bathroom at the moment is so horrible it's like water leaking everywhere so i want this face cleanser to be the first step into my ensuite i've always dreamed of having an ensuite and i've always wanted a house that smells amazing as soon as you walk in so this fresh candle is going to be so good in our new house i also have another one from beauty pie i'm just collecting all these candles because i've never been able to light up candles really in this house so i can't wait to kind of start that zen mode so last but not least, I have been keeping this for so long. This is actually sent in another PR package, but look how fancy this glass is. I'm gonna be drinking my apple juice in here, like pinky up, you know. And we've got two of them and I've kept them for the longest amount of time. I'm gonna be slowly collecting things for our kitchen and stuff, just because I feel like it'll be so nice to kind of move in and have everything ready rather than scrambling and buying everything last minute, because that's what I'm normally like. Hello guys! Today is Wednesday and we have a full busy pack day today. I have two Zoom events, you know, these Zoom events are still a thing, you know, I thought it kind of died off, but brands are bringing it back. So I'm just gonna sit here and chat to a friend. I'm gonna use the Fenty Skin SBF 30 moisturiser. I've actually been really liking this recently. So it's been a couple of days since I filmed my last clip for the vlog. I don't know why guys, I have been feeling really off recently and it's kind of been annoying me because I am such like a motivated person and I'm always like make the best of what you have but I don't know recently guys I don't know if it's a bit of depression I don't know if that's what I'm feeling but I just constantly feel so sad and I don't know what it is I was talking yesterday on my stories that it just seems like everyone on social media just looks like they're living their best damn life and every morning that I wake up there's fucking dog piss there another dog shat downstairs and it's just like oh what am I doing I'm really torn because I really want to go away on holiday I feel like I need a mental break but then I also feel really guilty because I know that we're buying a house and I feel like we should be saving and scrimping every single penny that we have to put towards the deposit. It's me and Grand's 12 year anniversary that's gonna be happening in September. And for the longest time I was like, oh, it's September, so far away. But bitch, 
September is literally around the corner and we haven't booked anything. Even for the last couple of years, we haven't really gone out to celebrate our anniversary. I always say that, oh, we should go away, we should go away. And then every single year we end up just staying in London and going out for dinner. Like, that's not very romantic at all. I just feel like everyone's getting pregnant. They're going away with their friends. I think in the US it's a bit different because you guys are on, like full on lockdown. But in the UK, I don't think we're really in lockdown no more. Like you're okay to travel to certain countries. Something that I have to keep telling myself is, it's not always greener on the other side, you know. People always post their highlight reels. They're only going to show you the best parts of their holiday and the best parts of their life. And I know that, guys. I do this for a living. Like, I know what it's like behind the scenes as well. But you just can't help but look at everyone and their life and just be like, oh, I'm not doing nothing. I am not doing anything. I am stuck in this same old crusty, musty house. There's dishes piled up to my eyeballs. There is dust bunnies in every nook and cranny and the other day I tried to clean this damn room and it was just like there's just not enough space to put everything like I got so many products coming out of my ears and there's literally not enough space my drawers do not fit them anymore and I know this is very first world problems guys such first world problems even these words that's coming out of my mouth I'm like just want to slap myself because it's like twee stop complaining about free products I'm not complaining about that I'm just a bit frustrated that I've been wanting to buy a house for so damn long. I saved up all of my pennies, guys, all of my money for this very moment to buy a house. And now that I'm ready to buy a house, there's no damn house in the market. I just had a whole vision of what I thought it would be. I'll go to like the most amazing houses and it'll be so hard to pick a house. But in reality, it's like I go to a house and it's like, oh, catfish. There's a mold in the ceilings. The light is dangling off for dear life. The switches don't even work. I don't know if anyone else can relate at all. It's like the same old repetitiveness every single day. I don't know why, it's kind of like taking a toll on me. Normally I can kind of like fight through and normally it doesn't affect me, but recently I've just been feeling so meh. Meh, that's the only way I can freaking explain it. Anyways, I really loved having this heart to heart session with you guys. I don't know, I really feel like in my vlogs I can just say how I feel without you guys judging me. Hopefully, hopefully. I know there's gonna be a couple of comments like, Twee, shut the fuck up. You have everything, nah, 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 nah. All I ask for is just to give me an ear, a shoulder to cry on, you know? That's what friends do for each other. Morning, guys. So I literally just woke up and took the dogs out for a wee wee. And I just wanted to show you how Chanel gets when she gets food. Oh my God. She is like a dog that's never been fed before. <laughs> if you guys don't know, we actually adopted Chanel when she was like two years old and I think before in her old house she used to have to fight for her food. She's the type of dog to literally eat her food in literally 2.0 seconds. The only thing is she doesn't like to eat dry food, she only likes the wet food. So this is the type of dog food that we give her. I don't know, it's from a brand called Win A Lot. Every morning when I do this I'm like, oh how do dogs like to eat this shit? <laughs> So the other day I was looking back on the clip that we was doing the little future home box and I was so embarrassed in the background, I was like, maybe we should not include that into the vlog. <laughs> Honestly guys, me and Gran only go to our bedroom and then my beauty room. And then the other times we're in the kitchen, but then we try to like eat down here quickly and run upstairs because it's just so messy down here. We don't even have a TV here anymore because no one sits down here. So my mum took the TV to her room. And also who remembers this plant? When I first done my beauty room, I bought this damn plant and now it's dying. It's dying, it's dead and it's dying some more. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Okay guys, so please excuse that clip earlier. I had so much crust in my eyes because I literally just woke up. And if you guys don't have a dog, let me tell you, if you don't wake up early enough, they'll piss and shit inside your room. So I had to get up and quickly take them outside. Do my morning skincare routine. How crazy does this product look? I had a Zoom call yesterday with Fresh and they just talked through the products. And I was like, I really need to start using more of this. Anyways, today's an exciting day, guys. I am gonna go and get some filler. <laughs> it's been a long time, guys, since I had anything done to my face. Definitely way before quarantine. So today I'm gonna go to Flawless Cosmetics. They do amazing lips. I always go to see Holly and she's so good at her job. A little tip that I have for you guys if you are going to get any kind of 
cosmetic procedure done to your face when you're going to your appointment try to like slick your hair back into like a slick ponytail or a little bun like this because you want them to be able to see your face for what it is pancake at all sometimes when you have your hair down it kind of covers up your face a little bit they can't see if it's a hundred percent symmetrical obviously nothing is going to be perfect but you want it to get as close to that point as possible you know especially because i'm doing my jawline today i want her to be able to look at both sides and try to get as symmetrical as possible because my face is so lopsided i never ever take photos from this side of my face because i have like no jawline here my nose is weird here i always prefer this side of my face you know everyone always has a good side and a bad side so whenever i get my jawline done they always need to put a lot more in this side than they do this side because this side i naturally have a little bit of a jawline this side is like round ass quarantine ass double chin ass bitch <laughs> hello <laughs> My whole lower face is going to be numbed. <laughs> Anything that's going to be underneath a mask is all going to get filled in. <laughs> you have to leave this on for about 15 minutes. Also, when you get injections as well, they have numbing agents inside of the actual filler. So it numbs even more. What type of filler do we normally use? Because I always get so, so many questions. So in your face, we use um, Revlax Sub-Q, which is really thick and lasts like up to 18, 24 months so oh, wow, to get amazing. out of it. Mm. And then in your lips, we always use Juvederm. Smile lines, we all use Juvederm too, so we'll share a bit from your lips and into your smile lines as okay. well. Guys, my lips are so numb. I think I was speaking and it went a little bit in my tongue. So now my tongue's like super numb. But I'm super excited. We're gonna kind of like chisel out the jawline, small oh, the lines. Tip of the nose yeah, well. just, just a little bit on the, you know, just to give yeah. it a little pinch. Just gonna do a little bit in the tip. Do you know what, guys? It doesn't even hurt at all. <laughs> just feels like a little pinch. Really? That's yeah. the worst place, I think, to yeah. get it as well. You're brave. Oh my god, I can see a difference oh already. Yeah, How it's crazy really good. Is that? You do feel like the slight like pinch, but it's like it's not unbearable. Do you know what it might be as well, because you have your nose done, you might have lost a bit of sensation. Oh, maybe, yeah. yeah so just the sides really, isn't it? If you like yeah. it's like just, yeah, bring just them to like, out in the corner. My lips are so numb. <laughs> I don't know if they're, they're closing. <laughs> okay guys, so you have to massage the lips to make sure it's like all smooth and not lumpy. Isn't it crazy to see the needle go in, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I look so much better already. Just like straighten that out, it's amazing. Okay guys, so I look super numb now. My top lip was like, oh, because I didn't get anything done in my bottom. So the top lip is like so swollen and so numb. The jaw looks so good. The treatment was so, so quick. I just had a little bit of filler just spread throughout. Just a little bit on my nose, smile lines, a little bit on my top lip, just on the side, and then just my jaw. So hello, hello, hello. I finally have some makeup on. Honestly, I haven't worn makeup all this week and I completely felt like shit. <laughs> when you feel shit inside, you look like shit. Now that I have a bit of makeup on, I feel a little more confident. I'm like, yes, bitch. This is the bad bitch that I always knew I was. But I wanted to come on here and show you guys what my face looks like after the filler. The last clip you guys saw was from two days ago. So yesterday I was the most swollen. My nose was bright red, it was so swollen. My jaw was really swollen. Today the swelling has definitely gone down but it's still really tender to the touch. Anyways, as promised, on my Instagram stories I kind of asked you guys what questions you guys had about filler. You guys know that I'm such an open book when it comes to stuff like this. I was kind of like discussing that it's a double-edged sword for me because I feel like I'm so open and I always really want to be honest and let you guys know that I wasn't born with these lips you know I had these really really skinny lips I wanted fuller lips and to get that I got filler and I do want to answer some questions that you guys gave me about filler I've had filler put in I've had filler dissolved out I've been to really bad people I've been to really good people so I feel like I know a little bit about this topic okay so the first question is does it harm your body in any way how long does it last normally fillers last anywhere from six months to a year to 20 24 months depending on what kind of filler you get how strong the filler is and also how quick your metabolism is I remember the first time I ever got filler which was my lips and that kind of dissolved a lot quicker because my body wasn't really 
used to it and it kind of faded after maybe about five months. I say faded, you probably get used to it and you think that your lips go smaller, but really it's still there. You're just like greedy, you want more, you know? <laughs> for me, it probably lasts for about nine to 12 months. And also depending on what area you get it done, it will last a bit longer. So your lips actually dissolve the fastest because you're eating, you're talking every single day. Things like cheekbones, noses, they tend to last a lot longer because the filler that they use is a bit thicker. So those areas kind of last normally for about 10 to 12 to even 15 months sometimes. Also, I'm not too sure about harming your body. That's obviously something that you should research if that's what you're scared about. From my understanding, it's something that your body naturally produces anyways, but they just kind of inject a bit more in there. Okay, so a lot of questions was asking, does it hurt? So apparently your lips are the most painful and also the tip of your nose right here when she was injecting here it wasn't painful but underneath here I could definitely feel a little like <sighs> and I would probably say it feels like someone's pinching you really really tight and the first prick hurts the most and then the more and more she injects there's actually numbing stuff that's inside of the filler and then eventually you don't feel anything the most painful bits of your lips is this bit right here on your cupid's bone that bit is really really tender but honestly you're there for maybe like seven minutes in total and then it lasts for like months after that so i think the pain's worth it anyways the next question is how addictive is it nobody seems happy until they get more and more and more i definitely was addicted at one point the reason why i really like filler is because without makeup i haven't got cheekbones i haven't got no contour i haven't got like the base jawline that i want so i feel like when i go and get fillers done I can have the look that I want without having to wear makeup all the time before I used to always overdraw my lips and I just used to hate it all the time whenever I would wear like a red lipstick or something I feel like my lips were so tiny and scrawny so I feel like now that I have bigger lips I can honestly wear whatever lip products that I want and even when I'm not even wearing makeup I still feel like I have some definition in my face it can be addictive for sure but the thing about filler is that it's dissolvable so if you don't like it you can go back and dissolve it and um, a lot of people think that a meal is a lot a meal is so tiny I think it's like barely a spoonful there does come a point where you're like okay I'm done now someone asked does filling out your smile lines restrict your smile no it doesn't at all you literally just smile like normal but it just doesn't have the natural dent in there when I smile you'll still see the lines but before it was like even when I wasn't smiling I will have the lines there permanently a lot of questions about costs and stuff like that costs would really depend on where you go how much filler you want so it's quite hard to talk about cost but lips can cost anywhere from about 200 to 350 or even more than that depending on how much you put in I would always recommend if you're doing your lips for the first time just go for one meal don't do like two meals in your first go because you want to slowly build up when I first done my lips I done 0.5 mil and that hardly made any difference so if you want to be really, really natural you can go for 0.5 from my experience everyone that does 0.5 always goes back for the extra meal and then you end up with 1.5 mil and also the location you go to will be different as well I remember before I went to a clinic in London from the same doctor and it was like 50 pound more expensive to be seen in London versus being seen in like Essex I know if you're from North filler is so much cheaper up there I think in Manchester you could do your lips for like 150 pounds which is crazy another question that I got asked is have you tried different types of filler what are the differences between all the fillers so most of the time I go for Juvederm but I have tried another one called Tessiol and that's more like the cheaper kind of version. I noticed that Juvederm gives the most natural kind of appearance and it lasts for a bit longer as well. There is other fillers out there you just want to make sure that it is dissolvable fillers not permanent fillers. I actually went to someone before and they actually injected filler that was made out of collagen or something like that into my jawline and I hated it and you couldn't dissolve it so always make sure whatever filler you get it is like dissolvable because if you don't like it you can just go and dissolve it at the end of the day okay so another question that i got asked is have you ever regretted any fillers which i kind of just answered about that kind of jawline situation that i had for a while there has been times where i regretted getting fillers there was a time where i had like a crazy chin at one point there was another time where my lips were so crazy when i first discovered lip fillers and i look back at those photos i was like bitch your lips look like a fucking fat asshole but it's so crazy because at the time 
you don't really see it, but it's only when you look back, you're like, oh, God damn, I looked a bit crazy. I don't know. I don't really regret it that much, you know. I kind of, like, lived through that life, and now I know what I like and what I don't like. So, yeah, guys, that's kind of, like, the main questions that I had about filler. If you have any more questions and you want me to answer them down below, I always make sure that I go through all my YouTube comments. So, feel free to ask me any questions down there, and I can answer them personally myself. Um, a lot of people was asking if I would get Botox done. I've actually never had Botox in my forehead, so you guys can see, look all these lines i am 28 now so i do feel like by the time i'm 30 i'll probably get something done botox is a little bit scarier than filler because botox once they inject it you can't reverse it whereas with filler i always know that if they put something in and i really don't like it i can go and dissolve it and start again but yeah i haven't dabbled in the world of botox yet but i do like the look of that smooth forehead that botox gives but anyways i just want to thank you guys for just sticking out with me being here for me at my lowest of lows and also the high highest of highs during the middle of the last two months since i've taken out my contraceptive implant i have been having the worst bouts of slight depression i don't know if you can call it depression i've never been diagnosed or anything like that i've definitely noticed that in the last two months during like the 14th and 15th and 16th of the month i've been feeling so sad and just crying for no reason i've no idea what it is i hope it's my hormones trying to balance out i can only thank you guys for putting up with this crazy crazy twee so for anyone who has lasted right until the end of my youtube video i'm actually going to be doing a little giveaway for you guys recently i don't know if you noticed but i've been trying to do giveaways on my instagram trying to hold on to that two million platform but unfortunately that's gone down the drain and i'm down at 1.9 again but it's fine instead i have decided that i'm going to focus on my youtube channel and my tiktok because those are the two platforms that give me so much joy and i need to celebrate anyone that is still here you know so i'm gonna be doing a giveaway for my amazing youtube family so this week i had a meeting with fresh beauty and they have some amazing skincare products i've actually been using so many of their products in the last couple of days since the meeting so they allowed me to pick any one of my followers to win fresh goodies and it's up to me on what you guys can win but i'm actually gonna give you guys the powers so whoever wins you can pick eight products that you want from fresh i just made that number up i was gonna say five but i was like nah give them eight something that i would really highly recommend is this fresh deep hydration sleeping mask also this oil infused serum is so stinking good anything from the rose line is freaking amazing it gives you so much hydration but i know that everyone's skin type is different like i don't want to say you can win this when you have more of like a dry skin type and i have an oily skin type if you're the winner you can pick eight products from fresh and then i will contact fresh and they will send you your prize directly to you i personally think that's a bit better than me picking out the prizes or if you guys want i can pick out the prizes and send them to you if you kind of don't really know what to pick but that choice is going to be up to you guys i feel like that is a bit more fun you guys can do online shopping and don't have to pay for it that's amazing right so this giveaway is dedicated to all my amazing followers out there that has been going through some shit right now and you just want to feel better about yourself you just want to pamper yourself the rules are going to be super super easy all you have to do is follow me on youtube follow me on instagram if you follow me on tiktok as well that's another entry turn on your notification bells like this video and comment down below how are you doing you know let's talk about some of our problems let's talk about how we're feeling i've been saying on my stories recently that I really want to normalize talking about our feelings sometimes I feel like with social media and being online people are made to think that they have to portray something that is perfect I think it's better to talk about the problems you know then it will help other people misery loves company you know that's a saying so the giveaway is open internationally it will be amazing if you can in the comments to leave your Instagram at username because it's so much easier for me to direct message you on Instagram rather than YouTube anyways guys that's it for this week's vlog i'm looking forward to reading you guys' comments down below just can't wait until the year kind of picks up and we all start to get good news you know so that's it for this video guys i'll see you next week's video bye big big booty but you got a big booty oh i got barbecue sauce all over my face oh sweet <laughs> oh shit coco i ain't got no more insurance by the way guys ah! hello why do I look like I have no pigment? The hell? Okay, camera, I see how you're playing me. Oh, my sister's calling me. You guys want to see my sister? You can say hello to the vlog. Hello, guys. 
My voice is freaking going. I look terrible, so I can't be in the vlog. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Only Tween knows. If you know, you know.